uncover the truth behind the alarming rise of fake job ads in Switzerland and abroad. Stay informed with the urgent warning from the National Cyber Security Center, NCSC, and protect yourself from becoming a victim. In recent weeks, the NCSC has issued a warning about a significant increase in the number of fake job advertisements targeting individuals in Switzerland and abroad. These scams employ enticingly high salaries and exploit the identities of international companies and their employees to deceive unsuspecting victims. According to a statement given to 20 Minuten, the NCSC has seen a surge in reports related to fake job offers. The government organization further revealed that they have been compelled to create a separate scam category in their database after receiving over 100 such cases in just a matter of weeks. The perpetrators of these scams primarily utilize mobile phone platforms such as WhatsApp, Telegram, or Facebook Messenger to send out messages containing highly lucrative job offers. Their objective is to obtain personal and financial information from gullible individuals. By posing as genuine employees of major international companies, the scammers succeed in luring in their victims. One alarming aspect of these scams involves the identity theft of Swiss recruitment agents. Mark Trillou, the director of the recruitment platform Titalent, disclosed that they have received numerous reports of individuals impersonating their company. Trillou even discovered that photos of their employees were being used to create fake Facebook accounts. In response to this breach, he filed a complaint against the offenders. Driven by curiosity, Trillou decided to play along when he became a target himself. Surprisingly, he was soon offered a job with an incredibly high monthly salary ranging from $6,000 to $9,000. The scammers exploit the higher cost of living in Switzerland to entice individuals into falling for their scheme. Patrick Guyen, the head of cybersecurity at the Swiss police in Canton, Geneva, corroborated Trillou's statement, suggesting that these criminals target individuals by appealing to their emotions. The promise of easy, under-the-table money can be attractive given the current context, Guyen added. He also noted that fake job advertisements are more likely to affect young people as they have grown up with social media networks and may find these opportunities enticing without realizing the potential dangers they pose. In line with previous scams, Guyan advised recipients of suspicious job offers to avoid responding and block the number. He also emphasized that if a message seems too good to be true, it probably is. Individuals who encounter such scams should report them to the police immediately. As the number of fake job scams escalate in Switzerland, authorities are urging individuals to exercise caution and remain vigilant. The law of extravagant salaries offered by scammers impersonating international corporations may entice unsuspecting victims to provide personal and financial information. By utilizing popular messaging platforms, scammers exploit the younger generation's familiarity with these networks, making them more susceptible to falling for such scams. It is crucial for individuals to be aware of the dangers and refrain from engaging with these fraudulent job offers.